what's up guys long here um well we had some nasty storms come in yesterday uh had just had broke off one of our tree limbs up there so anyways uh we're out here with our chainsaws cutting them up my dad's got his 029 and i got my uh husqvarna uh 61 chainsaw it's my dad's 029 if you want to know why it's sitting on a bucket, it's because it's got a, it's got an oil leak, and my dad went out and bought a tree climber, and uh, getting ready to use it. So yeah. Um, anyways, uh, right, what's up, guys? Lawn chaser here. Um, day two of videoing work, but day three of actually doing the work. Um, anyways, uh, it's Sunday. So I'm taking my day off to get this all finished up. And uh, yeah, what happened was we had some uh, severe thunderstorms come in late Thursday afternoon and it the, we had some straight line winds, high straight line winds come up and just tear that big branch right off that trip there is the branch itself was just it, when it fell it looked like a, a big tree had fallen because actually all of this that you see around here this ain't all of what was on that branch we hauled we hauled some of it off yesterday to the dump but anyways uh yeah it's a big old branch and this actually been a little bit of a three-day process but we've also had some work around that so yeah mm-hmm anyways uh yeah about two more loads on the trailer then this probably will be cleaned up but we're probably gonna wind up taking the rest of the tree down because uh it's not gonna make it see up there where you see some limbs had broken off yep this is this is part of it right here yeah it was a big old limb got my Husqvarna 61 out here and I also got my next door neighbor's little echo top panel chainsaw but uh don't know what's going on but it's not running right for some reason it when you pull the trigger it's supposed to have an immediate response is the full the full it's supposed to get up to full throttle almost immediately it's slow getting up the full throttle like i mean it's not like it's not bogging or anything it's just going burp. that's what it's doing it's supposed to go burp. it's going burp. so i don't know whether that may be a clutch issue or or it could be a a um a carburetor issue but anyways uh I've used this saw many times before and I've never had that problem with it. But anyways, um, he doesn't really take quite as good care of it like he should. He's got two of them. You know, the reason why I got this one was because this was the only one that had the that had a tensioner on it, and the other one shuts off when you uh, when you let go of the trigger. Doesn't even doesn't it. The idle, I think on that one, I think it just needs to be worked on because right as soon as you lift the trigger, it automatically cuts off. You got to keep your hand on the trigger just to keep that one going. But this one, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The other one he has is the exact same model as this one. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, yeah. That's all the wood. That's a lot of the wood that we that came off of that limb when it fell it actually had grazed part of that deck a little bit anyways um, yeah one other thing I forgot to mention was when that limb fell it fell on our furniture right here it turned our turned our chair right here and turned our bench right here into a bed yeah mm-hmm anyways uh 
Yeah. Okay. chainsaw what it's doing normally it would cut right through that but it's just not acting normal for some reason what the world obviously it must be a carburetor issue because he had the carburetor cover off of it As you can see the gas line you can, you can see it all inside right here did not even recognize that. Huh. Well, anyways, uh, I guess I won't be using this one anymore today. Or, you know. But, uh, however, I do plan on getting me one of these because I'm thinking about maybe also starting, starting to do some tree work too. Uh, both tree removal and lawn work you know but I'd like to get a little more educated about trees first I know how to cut them I, I have experience with cutting down trees um, I'd like to get a little more information about trees though I don't know anyways uh, alright
gas okay I've put more gas in it and uh, I also had to sharpen the blade a little bit just touch it up it was creating a little bit of dust but uh wasn't really creating too much or you know so anyways uh, I'm gonna go and uh, get back to it all right dog in and rotate right back it out dig it in again rotate again easier on your saw easier on you that's how I normally do so I'm yeah. glad you do it normally son well, all right, well I'm thank just, you yeah, trying to help you. thanks
Really am starting to enjoy using that saw. Y'all take a look at this load. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's just stacked down.
Yeah. And unfortunately, I don't have any straps there long enough to hold all this down, but I don't think it's going anywhere, but we'll have to drive a lot more carefully. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, another trip to the dump. one of those times where I still wish I had my wood chipper but you know I don't think my wood chipper could have done any of this because it was just a little crappy yeah, well maybe not crappy it was an old wood chipper and back around this time uh, it was actually a better wood chipper than today it was a 1992 MTD wood chipper powered by a 5 horse Briggs and Stratton that was back when MTD was a lot better nowadays they're just nothing but crap it wasn't a commercial one it was just a homeowner one so I was only gonna be using it around the house it was one that I bought from a neighbor for only a hundred dollars and it worked really good but yeah mm-hmm I actually sold it for about 120 because I did a little work to it. But anyways, uh, all right. Well, I'll see you when I get back.